You're listening to the Confidence Within podcast. If you are a successful professional entrepreneur who is nonetheless struggling with the fear of public speaking, then you are in the right place. This podcast is all about igniting your inner confidence, learning to show up with genuine authority and brilliance, and becoming the best version of yourself. I'm your host, Victoria Eliasnyansky, and welcome to my show. Welcome to another episode of the Confidence Within podcast. Today we're going to talk about the most common advice you hear when it comes to the fear of public speaking. I'm sure all of you have heard it before. Just fake it till you make it. This is the advice that you generally hear about confidence in general. Whenever you say, oh, I just don't feel confident about this, or I don't feel confident about this position, or I don't feel confident about speaking, or I don't feel confident about anything else in life, people will always tell you, oh, just fake it till you make it. And it became so ingrained in our culture that I think people pretty much stopped questioning it. It's kind of this number one thing that you do when you don't feel confident. Fake it till you make it. And granted, sometimes this advice works, but not when it comes to speaking with confidence. Just like many of you, I have tried to apply this advice in my own life when I was trying to conquer my own fear of public speaking. And I tried to fake it. And I would pretend I'm confident and I would try to speak with this pretend confidence. However, the problem was that it never translated into the real confidence. I never truly felt confident when all I was doing was pretending. Maybe to people watching me, it looked like I was confident, but to me, I still felt like a fraud. And so when I ended up overcoming my fear of speaking and when I learned how to speak with genuine confidence, I realized how wrong that fake it till you make it advice really is. And so today I want to talk about it and break it down for you so that you understand too why you shouldn't follow this advice. When it comes to public speaking, a lot of people teach you how to appear confident. I don't. All of my clients would tell you, I do not teach them how to appear confident. I teach them how to feel confident, how to be confident on the inside. I teach genuine confidence. I don't teach you how to appear because there is a massive difference between appearing confident and actually being confident. Our culture for the most part, wants us to appear, right? Especially with the advance of technology and with the introduction of Facebook and specifically Instagram. If you look at your friends' feeds, you know exactly what I mean. A lot of times, those feeds don't tell the real story because people want to appear on those feeds, not be. We all want to appear better. I'm not an exception. I'm just as guilty of this as everyone else. But this doesn't work long term. And the opposite actually works a lot better. If you feel something, then it's a lot easier for you to appear to be that person. Versus if you appear that person, it's a lot harder to translate that into actually being that person. And so here are my three top reasons why fake it till you make it will not improve your long-term speaking confidence. Imagine yourself for a second speaking in front of a crowd and imagine that you are trying to appear confident. Okay, so picture that in your mind. Now, I want you to imagine what you're actually thinking to yourself right now. Most likely what you are focusing on is trying to maintain that facade of confidence because you are trying to appear confident, right? And so as you focus on maintaining this facade, I guarantee there is a little voice at the back of your mind that keeps on telling you, oh, you're just pretending. Oh, you're really not good enough. Oh, you are a fraud and you know it. And that little voice in the back of your head nagging you that you're just pretending 
is actually very distracting and disruptive. And as we've talked many times before, as you are focused on that voice telling you, oh, you are pretending, oh, you're not good enough, you're faking it, you are not focused on the most important thing, which is how you're trying to make your audience feel, how you are trying to make your audience feel. If you need a reminder of that, listen to my episode 003. This is one of the most important things. Our mind literally cannot focus on too many things at the same time. I am a big believer in multitasking. However, our mind is just not capable of truly focusing on two things simultaneously. You physically cannot focus on listening to that little voice telling you, oh, you're just pretending, and at the same time, focusing on your audience. You have to choose one or the other. But if you are so engrossed in pretending that you're confident, if you're working so hard on maintaining that confident mask, it's very hard to focus on anything else at the same time. This show is brought to you by my Brilliant Speakers Academy program. Brilliant Speakers Academy is an in-depth coaching program for high-level professionals and entrepreneurs. It's designed to obliterate your fear of public speaking for good, drastically improve your communication and presentation skills, and help you show up with genuine confidence, authority, and brilliance. To learn more about the program, go to www.brilliantspeakersacademy.com. The second reason fake it till you make it doesn't really work long term is because think about it. You decide that, okay, this is the advice I'm going to follow and I'm just going to continue practicing. I'm going to continue practicing while I am faking it so that eventually I'll become confident. But what actually happens? when you're practicing something. The more you practice something, the more that something becomes a habit, right? That's the whole purpose of practicing. So what are you actually making a habit? What you're making a habit is that anytime you speak, you're not being genuinely you. You are trying to put up a front. And so anytime you open your mouth, you already know, okay, I'm going to pretend. Okay, this is going to be a mask. The more you practice, the more you make it into a habit. But what's even worse, is that people never get to know the real you. And a lot of times, especially if you are an entrepreneur, a coach, your clients want to know the real you. The whole point of you speaking to your audience is that your audience learns from you and gets to know the real you. And if you are constantly pretending to be somebody you're not, your audience never gets to know you. Or you slip into a genuine you, and it's so different than the facade that you've built so carefully that they don't recognize you. And that creates a sense of dishonesty and creates a sense of distrust. And for what? Do you really think that the real you is not enough or not interesting enough or not persuasive enough or not an expert enough? This is not true. You are enough. You just have to learn to find that most confident version of you and be able to pull it on demand whenever you speak. And this is exactly what I teach. And this leads us into the third reason why fake it till you make it just doesn't work. You miss a chance to develop real confidence. As you continue following on this path of fake until you're making it, you never learn how to feel confident. You only learn and practice and practice and practice how to appear confident. And because of that, you continue feeling afraid of public speaking and you never truly conquer your fear. I've had a lot of clients come to me who have been trying this advice for years and years and it's just not working long term. It can work for one presentation, it can work for a few presentations, but as you are growing your career, as you are growing your business, as you are growing within the corporate world, whatever you are doing, the quickest way to skyrocket your career and your life is to build this genuine confidence inside. I hope this makes sense. And if you want me to help you develop genuine speaking confidence that will stay with you forever, that won't go away, that will be yours for good, and which will allow you to show up as your best, most genuine confident self, 
Then apply to learn more about my Brilliant Speakers Academy coaching program. You can go to www.brilliantspeakersacademy.com to learn more and to apply. I can't wait to hear from you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.